All right, we're visiting with Ron Jeffries at the Central States Fair, and Ron's also the manager of the Blanco Stock Show, and it's just around the corner now, Ron. It's coming right up, of course. We, uh, we start everything down here January 17th, and uh, at all of our horse events here at the James Kirsten Event Center, and that's because we don't have the time or the space to fit them in during the official dates, which is January 31st through February 9th. That's right, a lot of things go on before the stock show. That's correct, yes. We have a number of uh, horse activities. It starts with a, a team sort, then we bring in the South Dakota Cutting Horse Association, and then we bring in an entire week of AQHA events before the official date start for the Black Hills Stock Show. Well, and how long have you been uh, the manager out here? Well, I started December 1st, 1997, and uh, I had a real good crew with me at that time. My board of directors was excellent, and we've been able to improve on our staffing, our directors, uh, our relationship with the county and the city ever since. Well, I grew up in Fort Pier. I did not grow up in a ranch, um, but I grew up across the street from the fairgrounds in Fort Pier. It's the Stanley County Fairgrounds. So I did every little menial job you could possibly do at a fairgrounds. I've cleaned stalls, I've picked up trash, I've parked cars, I've sold concessions, I've sold beer. I've done all those kinds of jobs. But uh, until I came to the Central States Fair, I never realized how much it took to actually run a fair. It's quite an operation. You know, we've been really lucky. Uh, over my tenure here, we've had a lot of growth in both our organization and in how uh, we host events. The biggest addition, of course, was this James Kirstead Event Center. This was the building that, when it was built, allowed us to, to develop full-time, year-round staff, and that really gave us the opportunity to start to grow and expand. It was a tremendous growth for the Black Hills Stock Show and a tremendous growth for Central States Fair from a year-round standpoint. What year did you build this event center? I believe it was 2005 that we built the James Kirstead Event Center. And it, it has the name James Kirstead because he was our county commissioner from Wall that was on the board. And uh, he was one of the ones, along with Ken Davis, that spearheaded the development of this building. Now you do concerts in here and all kinds of things all year round. This building is busy 52 weekends out of the year, plus a lot of weekdays. Wow. And uh, with, the, with the stock show coming up, let's talk about uh, all the events going on with that. When the stock show rolls around, we are already a month into having the building up and ready, and we've continually hosted events until the start of the stock show. When the stock show ends that Sunday, the next weekend, we have events back in here again. So we'll be back to cleaning and, and preparing to run this because it literally has events every week. The stock show pretty much uh, be the same as in years past. You know, we've got a lot of new things coming this year to the Black Hill Stock Show and we're excited. Of course, we have the Cinch Trade Show, uh, one of our big sponsors and one of the ones that really helped us start creating name uh, named events uh, for the Black Hill Stock Show. Um, this year, one of the biggest changes we have is that the Truck Defender Horse Sale is going to move from the Rushmore Plaza Civic Center, Rushmore Hall, and it's going to be held down here in its entirety at the James Kirstead Event Center. Now, the significance of that is, is that with all the construction going on with the new arena at the Rushmore Plaza Civic Center and the traffic patterns, uh, we needed to do something different. The horse committee wanted to move the horse seal down here for the past five years, and they've been begging for it, and we've resisted. But now, we took this opportunity with the construction. We've got a two-year phase where we'll be able to build, build that horse sale up down here, and to replace its space and time at the Rushmore Plaza Civic Center, we created a youth livestock show. Now already in our first year, this will be the biggest livestock show that we do. It'll be bigger than any single breed of the 10 breeds of cattle that we show during the Black Hill Stock Show as part of Supreme Row. But it's youth driven. And I really feel, and, and our staff has been through many different options for things to, to help grow the Black Hill Stock Show and we unanimously land on doing things for kids to help grow this show. And so the Youth Livestock Show is a natural uh, progression for us, and we're super excited to be able to bring that to this year's Black Hill Stock Show and Rodeo. And of course, uh, Rodeo Rapid City will be there too. Right, Rodeo Rapid City is a product of Sutton Rodeos, and they handle all the rodeo aspect or the things that take place currently in Barnett Arena. So all those rodeo events take place there. If it's rodeo events that take place down at the event center, obviously we take care of those. Yeah, and those will be right here at James Kirstead Event Center. Right, those will include things like uh, the Wild Ride. Now, that's another new event this year. After the first Saturday of the Black Hill Stock Show, after we do the Truck Defender Horse Sale, we're going to have a wild ride here in this arena. And a wild ride is a, is a bronc ride. It's a, a stock saddle bronc ride. The big difference is all the competitors dress up in costume. So they might be firefighters, or you might find somebody in a tutu, or a wedding dress, or you might find somebody in a Batman costume. It could be anything. That's part of what they do to, to uh, earn prizes as part of the ride. So it's really supposed to be a wild and woolly fun event, and I'm sure it will be on that first Saturday. 
And I know it's easy to access everything on your website. Sure, if you go to BlackHillsStockShow.com, you can find an entire schedule of events, you can get tickets to all the events, and uh, you can find yourself a plan to have a really good time during this year's Black Hill Stock Show and Rodeo. Okay. Best wishes for a great show, Ron. Thank you. Look forward to seeing everybody.